Welcome to this section of the tutorial. We're going to do the view page and what we're going to do is to make sure that uh, when somebody clicks here, it takes them to another page where they will see the details of this company. So for now, this is not a link, so we have to make it a link so we can get back to our code. And um, in the index.php here, that we just outputted this, we're going to make it a link. So I'll just do a href href equals this a all right so now we have this we're gonna have to create this link there's a way laravel creates links but first of all i want to give you a recap of how this works so if we go to a laravel code remember that in controllers that i showed you before because we use resource we didn't create our methods one by one just use a resource to generate them automatically laravel has done some things automatically for us so it has taken care of routes names so when we did companies slash companies it outputted everything that is in, inside our index all right and then if we this is the route name companies.index all right so we are going to use this to to look at um to be able to link to our routes okay so the route we're looking for is that of the to get the to show the photo so we need the id of the photo here um there there are actually many ways to do that or two or three ways to do that which means um since it's a get request we can just come here and do a um, companies slash show i mean in blade like i told you you use this to display variables so we can now say um company dash id so we can say company id all right because if you look at this you'll see that um you can get it from your photos slash the the id of the photo and the automatically larva route will route this to the proper um company so it will, it will just output the id here which means if we now go to our code our company's controller and go to show right here is expecting us to get the company so from here we can now retrieve the particular company we're talking about you know we're able to do this um, because we have already imported company here so we're trying to retrieve that particular company ID that is coming in so we can say where ID so we're basically telling is go to company table where the ID is whatever is coming in here as id uh, but first of all let us um test the link that we have already let's just be sure that it's converted to a link so i'll come to this page and refresh it just to be sure that this place is now a link as you can see it's now a link and, li and it looks cool okay so what we're gonna do next is now to make sure that when we click it it doesn't run into an error page so when we click it as you can see it um passes the id of the the correct id of the company to this page and uh, the page it passed it to is called the uh, the show so this is the the method that handles the page so in this method we basically go to database retrieve using the id of the company that's passed in we retrieve the company's details then we pass it to a view so basically we're going to do what we did before we say return view and inside the view the view we're going to return is um the view in the companies slash show so we're going to do companies dot show so that's the view we're going to return and then the we have we have to pass a value into that view all right so we're going to do companies the show we're going to put this bracelets brackets then we're going to tell it uh, company that's the i the value we want to pass in then company and then so we're passing in this variable that we commented out so we're going to uncomment it again so this contains the payload that is coming into this method inside that payload uh what, what we're passing in is the id all right so the id is what we're looking for we're going to, we're simply saying whatever you receive from this company get to the id of it then go to the database company's database look for in the id field that matches this id this is a lot of eloquent like I said before, you can always read this up if you go to Laravel documentation and click on Eloquent ORM. Just take your time and read it up and read up the database too so you understand uh, what I'm doing now. 
eventually to enter your hand and you'll be able to um, code it offhand like I do right now. So there we are. So we're basically saying, okay, collect the ID and then go to the database, find it and uh, pass it into the view. So which means uh, we'll still get a blank page if we refresh our, our site here. We'll still get a, a pretty much blank page because we've not actually displayed it. All right. Uh, in the next video, what we'll do is try and display it. So um, in the next video, we'll go to our, our resources, companies, and show the blade. As you can see, it's still blank. We'll put some we bootstrap code, and then we'll display the details of the company that we just got. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.